We have the wonderful privilege of having Pastor Marta from Budapest, who was originally from Slovakia. Um, I know her word will bless your heart, but also move your spirit this morning. So give Pastor Marta a hand. Hello, dear friends in New Zealand. It's such an honor to be part of your women's conference for her. Hello, Pastor Katie. Thank you for inviting me. I do have to say that I always dreamed about coming to this conference. I just didn't know I could come this way. So here I am. My name is Marta Totova and I am from Slovakia and Budapest. Uh, we are uh, with my husband uh, leading churches in Slovakia and planting equipers Budapest. And and uh, it's exciting uh, for me to be part uh, of this conference and to be with you this way. Well, we haven't seen each other for quite a long time, over two and a half years probably now. And I do have to say that I'm sure you find it as well, but I do find it very strongly here in Europe that the world has changed. Everything changed. We changed. I changed. There are so many new things in my life since we last time saw each other, Pastor Kathy. I became a grandmother. And I love to be a grandmother. We just have a, a first baby, grandbaby in our family. Uh, we have three sons with my husband, Miro. And now we have first grandson. And uh, he's just one month old today as I'm speaking to you. And uh, we are so thrilled to have him and to hold him. And he brought a whole new dimension of love and joy into our lives, which actually I do have to say I'm extremely thankful because in this season it is, it is a blessing. But I'm sure as well you can say that so many things have changed. There are new things. There are, and actually some things I do have to say that they shockingly changed. Uh, during the pandemic season in the whole Europe, you know, we, before we could travel anywhere in Europe. We didn't need passports. We just could go anywhere. Nobody stopped us. We didn't have to think. Now going two and a half hours away for us means to think about the new rules of a new country. Think about how we can get there. What kind of papers do we have to fill up? And, and just to go even to England or to other countries means a lot of work now. The world has changed. Everything changed. And they were telling us during the pandemic season that we are not going back to normal because there is, there is not going to be the old normal for us. And I do have to tell you, I know that you uh, cannot travel a lot, so you are mainly in New Zealand. When you get over to the other sides of the world, the world has changed. We changed. And you, I'm sure you changed over two years. And you know, these changes are not always bad, but they are affecting us. Well, uh, I love the topic you have for your conference, Get Real. And uh, that's a challenge. That's a challenge that is ahead of us for a new world, for a new season, for a new period of what God is calling us to do. We need to be real. We need to know how to be real in a new world. And you know, I was just, uh, I just got to this one verse recently and it totally, I had to pause on this verse and I am stuck with this verse for quite a few days. And I want to uh, speak about this verse and share with you. It's, uh, this verse in, is in Psalms 90, uh, verse 12. So let's look there. It says, Teach us to number our days that we might gain a heart of wisdom. And I love this, that we can have a heart of wisdom. I really love that. And I, that's my dream. And I believe it is your dream to have a heart of wisdom. But there is this first part. Teach us to number our days. So I want to speak about this a little bit. See, we need to learn how to be uh, real with ourselves. The truth is, let's face it honestly, who like to say, teach me? <laughs> who like to say it? You know, we are not students anymore, quite a few of us, I'm not, uh, I mean, not in the school, but I remember being in the school. I didn't 
like to learn that much. I didn't, I didn't like when somebody was teaching me, when I was put on a spot and I, have to, I was questioned and I was examined. I didn't like those moments. I did like to learn. I do like to learn. But those moments when, you know, uh, we are examined and when we are, are put on a spot where we have to present what we know and we are questioned, that, those are not fun moments. But I do believe that this uh, teachable spirit, this ability to learn and to, 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 to be able to say, God, teach me. I do want you to scan me. I do want you to teach me. It needs to be our value in this season. In this next season that we are facing, this needs to become our value, teachable spirit. I remember my father when he was uh, having a discussion with one man, and he said this, this sentence that really hit me. He said, you know, part of, he was asking, you know, they're asking question, what, what is very important for you? And he said, you know, uh, one thing that is very important for me is that I never can put down my school bag from my shoulders. I always have to be ready to be taught, to, be, to have the teachable spirit. And I really liked it. He was old when he said it. And I love that even in his age, he still wants to learn. He still has this teachable spirit. See, I believe that things are changing if you like it or not. See, things are changing. Uh, see, I believe that God can always find a way how to cheat how to teach us, and sometimes it is not comfortable to us. It means to get thrown from our comfortable zones. He can find a way, but when we face this with the attitude of fighting with him, it's a struggle. God has a way how to teach us, but what if we will not struggle with him, we will not fight with him, but we will have this attitude that where we want to embrace the teachability, when we want to embrace the season with learning new things, when we want to go into situations that let's find out what I can learn. I do have to say that um, um, the changes that we are facing right now, they are teaching us new things if you like it or not. See, just look at if sickness comes into our lives, we have to learn new th how to function with that, how to fight with that, how to go through it. When somebody next to us makes a decision that infects our lives, you don't even have to do anything wrong. It's enough if somebody right next to you in your job or in your school or in your uh, neighborhood or in your family makes a decision that infects you in such a way that you have to face challenge. You have to face new, th new things. You have to learn to live a new way. Or when war comes, like it's happened with us, suddenly war is so close. People, refugees are here in our church are all around us and the world is different. Pandemic came and everything is different. Children do something bad in school and we have to face a an, an new situation or somebody hurts our child or somebody hurts us and we have to go through changes. So see, I believe that there are always a situation that are where we are thrown, if we like it or not. But what if we will face those situations with a hard attitude that, Lord, I want to find out what you can teach me in this. Where we have teachable spirit. How different that would be. How differently we would go through that same situation, but with different attitude. And I do have to say that this was a huge challenge for me. Over these last two years, as I've said, we are living in two countries. We are living in Slovakia and as well in Hungary. And so every Sunday morning, uh, we have uh, three churches here in Slovakia that we uh, oversee and we pastor. And we preach in one of them in the morning. Then we get into a car, drive three hours to get to Budapest. But at 5 p.m., we have a meeting and church. And then we stay in Budapest until Tuesday or Wednesday. And then we try 
Bratislava back here. And in both countries, I have children. So in Slovakia, I have two younger kids who live here, stay here, go to school here. And in Budapest, Hungary, we have the oldest son with his wife and grandson. So I'm actually excited to go to both. Uh, it helps me a lot. But uh, two years ago, when we were by ourselves and we were starting this church, it was very hard for me to leave my two younger children in Slovakia. But they had schools here. My son has some disabilities to learn, so he had to stay in the schools here in this system. And uh, so it was so painful for me to travel to Hungary every week. I literally, until the borders, I cried. And I was just saying, God, how can I do it? I knew I want to do it, you know. I knew that I want to obey God, but it was painful. And I knew that if I want to survive, my attitude has to change. I need to go through it by myself. I do have to face the situation by myself. I do have to go through those changes by myself. Nobody else could do it for me. But what if I would make the trip enjoyable? What if something in me would change and I would enjoy going to, to Budapest? I would enjoy to go back and I would enjoy the traveling. And this was a one year struggle for me. I was praying on the way. I was crying. I was, I was giving my children to God's hand, trusting them that he will take care of them better than me. And I would uh, face the situation in, in Hungary. And when I finally thought that I am doing pretty well, the pandemic hit really strongly. And you know what? We couldn't go for three days. We could enter Hungary only for 24 hours. So we had to travel back and forth two times a week, only for 24 hours. I was exhausted. But yet I knew that we need to have a breakthrough. But first breakthrough that I need to have is my own, is to have a changed attitude. And God did it to us. And I just want to tell you when it says, teach us, it's a strong statement, but we need to embrace it. We need to get real with ourselves. We need to uh, have this value as part of us. Lord, I do want you to teach me because I want to have the heart of wisdom. I am willing, just here I am, scan me, teach me, help me, mold me, shape me, help me. So I do believe that, and I want to pray for you guys, that this will be part of our lives for next season. The second is that teach us to number our days. Number our days. See, I really believe that God is about to teach us new math. It seems to us like we know how things are done. You know, we've been Christians for, we, we are planting churches. This is our fourth church that we are planting. We kind of thought like, yeah, we know how to do that. We face so many obstacles already. You know, you know how to raise children after two and third one comes. You think like, yeah, I can do it. But then suddenly everything is different. And we had to lear relearn it again. And this is what I feel that it's happening again with us. God is taking us on a, on a journey where we have to like recalculate regularly. Now when the war came here, when we had pandemic and now war, it ha things are changing so drastically, so quickly that I have no time to process it. I have almost like no time to find out what is going on. And I feel constantly like I am the navigation in my car when I, take, uh, when I didn't take the turn I was supposed to. And I ju I'm just so shocked, you know, or amazed by the, 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 the nature around that I forget to turn. And the, nav the navigation tells me, recalculating. I feel like this is what God is doing with us. Like there are changes happening so much that I'm like learning new math. I'm learning, like, i never been in this place. i never been in this situation. I never was in, so close to war. And none of us, no, my parents, nobody around us, we never faced the situation that we are facing right now. And it's like a new adventure. And I really felt like God is teaching us new ways. God is teaching us how to, how to navigate our ministry how to get fresh revelations. And I, this is one very important thing. I really believe that in this season, the new revelation of God's truth, of God's goodness, of who he is, are so crucial. And I, it seems to me sometimes that it's like my foundations are being attacked. 
my belief in God, at the, big, the foundation of belief are being shaken because the change and the, 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 the things that are happening around us are, are so huge. But you know what? Everything can change, but the one thing never changes. The truth about who is God. The truth that he speaks about us. And this is something very important. We all have to know who he is. We all have to learn how to wait on him in every situation. We all have to, in this next season, if you want to have a heart of wisdom, we always have to get a new revelations. We always ha make, have to make sure that we get his fresh vision. And we always have to remember that faithfulness is a great key to be faithful to him, to love him. We don't have to get all the answers. I honestly, I don't know how this will finish. We had to have the hard discussion with my children when the war started. My husband was in Ukraine that morning. He woke up to sirens and he had to run away in one hour to get with the missionaries that we had there to come back. And when he came back, he was shaking. We were all shaking. We didn't know what is coming. We don't know what is coming. Maybe the third world war, we don't know. Nobody, else, none of us knows. But we know that in all of this, God is good, God is faithful, and he is the only and the main stable rock we can stand on. See, in this chapter, uh, Psalms 90, there is other verse that just follows in the verse 14, and it says, Satisfy us in the morning with your unfailing love. The love is unfailing. It never fails. Satisfy us in the morning that we might sing for joy and be glad all our days. It doesn't matter what the world says. All our days, I do need to find a way how to get satisfied with, with him in the morning, how to be filled. See, I believe if we want to have a strong heart, we have to have a strong spirit. The strong spirit strengthens our hearts. And this is my prayer for you, ladies, for next season that is ahead of you, for next year. Whatever might happen, whatever changes you are facing, let's be teachable. Let's recalculate. Let's put our trust in God and let's gain a heart of wisdom because we need it, each one of us. And I just want to pray for you now and I want to pray for your lives. I want to pray for what God has for you. You know, I always loved you and your mentality that you are the same size country as we are and we feel very lost in Europe, very small. But I love that there is the same amount of people in your country as we have, but your mentality is big because your mentality is much bigger than beyond your little country. And I just want to pray for you guys that you will not lose this, but that your, your, uh, the, the way God speaks to you, the, the, the way God uses you, the way how you pray for the whole world, I really pray it will influence all of us. I really love the way how you pray for Europe. I love the way how you pray for the whole world. I love the way how you, how you speak blessings to all of us. And I want to tell you, we need you. We need your prayers. We need your uh, a boldness. We need your prophetic words. And I just want to pray for you guys for the next season that uh, you will just, re there will be a release from you to, to, into the whole world from, from everything that you receive, from everything that has, God is pouring into you, that it will be, bring floods to the whole world. And I really felt that strongly. That God wants to use you, use you to, from what you receive, from what he is teaching you, from what he is giving into your hearts, to really pour out to all of us, all over the world. And so I just want to pray for you right now. I want to pray for your heart. I want to pray for a download of wisdom to all of us. So if you can just raise your hands and just pray. Jesus, I thank you that you are the one the best teacher, and we do want to willingly say, teach us, Lord. 
Teach us how to number our days. Teach us how to face and how to navigate and how to see the future, how to see where is our place in the future in this world. Teach us, Lord. Navigate us. Use us. And I just pray for the ladies all over New Zealand who are watching right now. I pray for a special download of wisdom. I pray for supernatural power to, to, to use them mightily, to, to pour out into their lives. I pray for boldness. I pray for courage. I pray for new visions, for new dreams, Jesus. I pray, Jesus, that, that you will bless them mightily and you will navigate them. You will help them, Jesus, how to use what you put into them for the whole world, not only for their life, but for the whole world. And I just speak blessings over them. I speak blessings over each one of them. And I thank you that we can put our life into you, put our hearts into your hands, knowing that you are going to transform them, our hearts, and make our hearts full of wisdom. We want your wisdom, Jesus. Amen. Well, it was a great privilege to be with you. Bless you, bless you all of you, and I hope to see you soon. We love you very much.